Good day. Welcome to Art with Alison. Now, first off, I just want to say that noises you can hear in the background are my dogs. I have lots of dogs that live with me in my house <clears throat> and I'm in my kitchen, which is an open living area. And so, yeah, the dogs all live in here too. Today I'm going to be doing an infinity pour. This is something that Mixed Media Girl came up with, mind you. I'm sure other people have probably tried similar things, um, but she came up with it and, and named it a few months back. And yeah, just wait and see what it is. And yeah, hopefully it turns out really well. Now I've decided that I'm not going to use Floetrol this time because Floetrol does cause cells. And I, I think for this particular pour that I want to do today, I don't want so many cells. So I'm going to do something new for me and use a glue and water mix. This is, this is only the school glue, Elmer's school glue, because we can't get the uh, other one here. So it's 70% glue, 30% water. So I thought I'd give this a go. I made this up some time ago because I was going to do some flip cups, but didn't do very many. I'm not going to be using silicon, of course, because I've just said I'm not wanting to have any, or not too many cells anyway. The colours I'm using are the Eraldo Cool Blue, Eraldo White, and one I haven't tried before, it's a new one for me, is the Metallic Jade. So I'm excited to see that one. And for the other cup, I'll be using... Oh, and white. Yeah, I told you that. Um, on the other side, I'm using black and cool red and gold, which is actually called metallic treasure. But as you can see, it's a lovely gold colour. So anyway, I'll mix these up uh, in these little pots and put back to you in a minute. I'm... I'm very sorry, but I didn't realise that the video had cut off. But I've layered this dark to light couple of layers. And now the other side. Similar. As in dark to light. I was just saying, not that you'd have heard. <laughs> um, well, first of all, I've got a puppy by my feet. I don't know if... You heard that bit, snoring away, and lots of other dogs in the room snoring away. It is the middle of the night here. There you go, there's a big snore. <laughs> she sometimes does that with her eyes open. Um, anyway, so that's my household. So I'm just going to do a couple of layers. Same as that one, tiny bit more. Let's put a bit more white in. That should sort that. No, there's more on the other side. Uh, there we are. Sure, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a joy of art, especially this type of art. It's very fluid. We can do it as we like. All right, so as I've said before, this is an infinity pour. 
and this is recently developed by Mixed Media Girl and it's basically swirling your cups around and so you get ribbon effect sort of overlapping each other. So I've not done this before so let me just alright so I'll go that way with that one Well, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, look, I'm getting cells. Never mind. <laughs> I do normally like cells, but oh, I might just torch that first. Go off there. Don't want to lose all that gold though. Let's see, I'm going to end up with lots of the aqua. Go to the other side. Bring it back to the middle. Might head down that way next. Quite go off. And back to the middle. And then over to the other side. It's rather a big lump of ribbon there. I might just let a lot of that go off. And bring it back. Mm. I'm loving all this, but I um, don't really like that big glob in the middle. Look at my hands. Uh, um, I'm wondering about. Wow, you see those beautiful cells on the side? That white seems to be what's selling up. Might just put a bit of this metallic jade and a bit of. Maybe the red and gold. The joy of this sort of art, waves of art, really, is you don't have to settle. If you don't like it, you can change it. There's no hard and fast rules about what you can and can't do. That's what I like about it. Well, because that contrast looks nice. All right, I'm just gonna do another little. I'm gonna swap hands actually. Oh. 
Oh, I can't touch the painting again. <laughs> Never mind. You try and get that bit in the middle there off. Just look too different from the rest of it, really. Wow, that's looking really lovely now. Wait a bit back towards the middle. Because I've poured off a lot of that paint. Don't know if I can stretch it anymore. It's very slippery. Put tape underneath but the tape is <laughs> Feels like it's very covered in paint. <laughs> it might have helped a bit. Let's see if I can get rid of that glob of the red and gold that's at the bottom there. That's good. And bring it back that way. Well, that's very interesting. I hope you can see it. Sorry, it's hard when I'm tilting. Let's just head towards that corner a bit because that corner is looking a little bit lonesome. It's very slippery. I'm whoop, holding on to it by the pegs underneath as much as I can so as not to muck up the edges. That's about as much as it's going to move. Look at all that paint underneath. If I can make some skins out of that. It's going to turn to mud just mixed up. Well that's interesting. That was a lot of fun. I might have it around this way actually. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Actually, I love the, um, looks almost like a tree trunk with the roots coming down, I think. Good. I'll give it a torch and then I'll bring you in for a close-up. I think the, the glue mixture did work and as far as there's only a few little cells which of course you get simply from the different gravity of the different paint. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it. Okay, I'll bring you down. I've now got two Lolly Reef, Lolly Reefy, Love Life silicon mats which... I'm really happy about it. Right, close up. Isn't it gorgeous the way you get your ribbons overlapping each other? And the different colours that set each other off. Oh, look in there, it's almost pink. the red mix with the white a bit. The jade came quite, actually no that's not true, up here it's very green. But down here it seems to be a lot more mixed with the blue and aquary but that's fine, it's 
looks lovely. Let's see if I can get you to see the glint of the metallics. You can see them in there, especially that that lovely aqua or turquoise really striped down the middle there. Very glistening. They're quite cute, those little cells there. Well, you can see the gold glistening in that bit. Dog chewing on a bone. Actually, that's quite pretty, that little bit of cell that was left on the side there. That's so pretty. Look at the lovely stripes in there. Isn't that gorgeous? And the gold there looks very yellow, which is, goes beautifully with those other colours. And there it is. Alright, I'm happy with that one. Please, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and then if you hit the bell and ask for all notifications then you will get to find out when I put up new videos and hey you know if you've enjoyed this video I'd love you to hit the like button or the thumbs up to let me know okay then and please yeah give comments tell me what you think do you like this kind of pour Shall I do another one? Okay, thanks again for watching. Catch you later. Bye. It's now dry. The colours are still bright. And of course, they'll bounce back even more once it's varnished. I know, it was fun to do and looking forward to doing another one. Okay, thanks heaps for watching and catch you again soon. Bye.